Hello, my name is Duncan Alderdice, and the reason I make these videos, the reason I'm making these videos is, no, fuck. Hello, my name is Duncan Alderdice, and the reason I'm making these videos is to document the journey I take as I become who I am. Today was a really good day. Interesting day, lots to talk about. Today's actually Tuesday. I missed yesterday because my parents came up to go skiing and that was a lot of fun, took the day off, so then didn't record one of these videos, but so that was good. Uh, but into the first item of business. No, okay, it's number one, 105 dials, good, but zero book demos. However, I did host a demo and the demo went well. Um, near the end, it got a little stiff or kind of things, like they didn't want to move forward today um, but it, but one good question I asked was like, is it a no today or is it a no forever? Just to kind of flush out going like, okay, well, like they, they were saying like they were sick, which is fine. Like they might be sick and just not want to address this, do this right now. But if they are actually like, I'm happy to follow up with them, but if they're not convinced and don't think they will be. Like, let's just put you down for a no today. Like, is it just a no today? But if it's a, if it's no, it's not just a no today. Or yes, it's just a no today and no, a not, no, a no, no, not a no forever. Well then, okay, so then you are just sick. Okay, that that's fine. And it's not like, like, are you lying? But just, but just more that. Um, but then, so my manager, um, was listening to the call, like, as it was going on, which is very useful. And, like, he huddled me after, over Slack. And we had, a, like, a long, a good, quick conversation, and then a longer conversation after. And I was honest with him and said, like, like you said, no, like, you, you sounded a little on edge. Like, the, the end, there was tension in that call. Like, you really wanted the, the sale, which you can't do as a salesperson because that it, it puts too much emphasis on you, the person who wants the sale or is, is the one selling, wanting the sale as a priority, uh, placing that above the best thing for the prospect and the decision of the prospect. Because like a successful sales transaction is not we close them, but it is a the decision was made by the prospect and the right decision was made by the prospect which includes both yeses and noes. But, so I was honest with him and said going like, well, I mean, like, yeah, I did want the sale. In the back of my mind, I know I need to hit quota this month or else I'm out of a job. And so that's, that is stressful, which is real. And it is real. Um, because like, it's a business. Like, yeah, we're friends and like, we get along with everyone and they like me, but like, if I don't perform, it doesn't matter how much they like me. It, like, I don't do the thing that I'm being paid to do. Um, but then we went through a, like, he gave me a, a great pep talk. It was very useful. It was nice. Um, uh, he used an, a rugby analogy. Because I used to play rugby. And, and one of the things that he said, like he said, going like, well, were you really good at rugby when you started? Like, well, no. It's like, okay. Did you play at a university level? on a varsity team at some point, which is like a fairly decent team. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, when you were playing and doing well, like, how did that feel? I said, like, well, I was having fun. And then, so it's like, okay, well, like, when you were booking demos <laughs> and doing well, were you having fun? And I was going, yeah, because that shit was fucking easy. <laughs> um, but, but, yeah, no, I was having fun. Like, I was enjoying it. And I'm going like, well, are you having fun right now? I was like, no, I'm not. Like, I'm stressed. And then so he went, okay, well, what, um, like, what do we have to do so that you feel like you're having fun? Like, how do we get that Duncan into the same, or we get Duncan back into the Duncan's mindset that he was in there? Ever, the proper way of saying that was that. Um, and I said, well, it's unrealistic. Like, I would like guaranteed employment for the next three months. That would take the pressure off. But I know, and I said this, I know that's an unreasonable ask because it is. Be because again, it's a business. Like if I'm not doing that, it's it's that. Um, oh, and my mind just blanked. Oh, no, and then, cause that's, that's, where, that's where it was, is then he, 
said a, 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 like a, a bunch of words before saying what he really then said was like, you're here for a reason. And when he said that, like that hit, cause it was like a, oh right, yeah. Like, because there have been people who have lost their job. I'm not one of them. It's not a fluke. Like, it's not just a random thing. There's a reason why that decision was made. That, like, and it was, like, like open, like, transparent, said, like, well, when, he, like, you and the other junior account executive were, um, the two that are still, like, like, still with the company, were, as the, like, the BDR, like, the junior account executives, you weren't in tremendously profitable at that point, but we still kept you around. There's a reason for that. And that, I think it just was more the, that was the security I needed to feel or to hear was just like the, yes, we can, and the manager said this as well. Like it's <laughs> no matter what we think of our own self-worth, um, we can reduce it to a performance index inside of a company that we are currently working for that in the grand scheme of things may not entirely matter. Not that the company doesn't matter, but more just my my time spent in the role over the course of my life is rather insignificant in the grand scheme of things than it is in the actual moment I'm feeling and experiencing right now. Um, and that that can work against us. But then what I just, I'm glad that he did is he drew my attention back to the thing my attention should be on, which is the fact that, that I am still here. There's a reason for that. And if there's a reason for me being here, I should have confidence that, I should, I should have the confidence that there's a reason that I'm, I should, I am here. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. If there's a reason that I work for the, that I'm here. I should have confidence that the management team believes in my potential and current ability and actual ability in the moment. So if someone else believes in me, I should too. So then that was, that was good. And <laughs> it was, so I appreciate that talk if you're watching, which I know you are, um, won't say the name. Mr. Sales Manager. Uh, but so beyond that, that okay, so that was all happening because it like that like the demo uh, ended, and I knew there was another one coming up. Um, at like five forty-five, and so that's like I kept checking the time, and we did a little bit of role play of how that conversation was go. That was that was useful. Why am I so, but, but then, but so then what was funny at the end was the pep talk came to a close. It was like 543. I'm ready to get into it. And like, like we saluted each other off, like ended the call. It was great. And like, I'm fired up. I walk patient back and forth, see the time says 544 on the stove top. So then I'm like, okay, let, let's just look at the admin, refresh myself with the notes, get ready to call. And I see there's an email. I'm like, I look at the email, the first email is like from the person saying they accepted the invitation. I'm like, okay, good. Like, cause I remember I had to reschedule it. And then the second email was from them rescheduling it. <laughs> so then all of that build up to then have the phone call. Then it was like, no, 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 it'll just be pushed to tomorrow. Which is ironic, funny, and also okay. Because, well, for the one reason, if they took the time to reschedule, like, instead of just either ignoring the phone call or like if they took the time to reschedule, clearly there's more that that to me at least is an indication like for one, a professional respect, but number two, the fact that there potentially might actually still be interest. It's like you're not going to reschedule a follow-up call just to say no. You're probably going to take that call to begin with and say no quickly or just not take the call entirely like de depending on your ethics, but so then it's like, okay, so there's potential there. Doesn't mean that they're saying yes. Doesn't mean it's like, oh my God, what program do you want to sign up for? But it does mean, okay, well, there's, there's still, there's, 
it does mean don't give up hope so quickly. Um, but so that was the end of the day. It was a good end. I'm happy with the company I'm working for, specifically the people. And it's the second week of February, really only the fourth day. I'm feeling good, feeling great. And we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for watching.